Hello everyone, welcome to Cooking Curbs Coding Class. So a while ago, I was following Peter Shirley's famous ray tracing in one weekend tutorial. That is a C++ tutorial on how to make a ray tracing engine. However, I'm your average programming software, so I made my ray tracer in C instead. But of course, since it's a C++ tutorial, it makes use of C++ features, including polymorphism, which is where you can have a class which has a function defined for it, and then you can have different subclasses which have the same function defined for them, but which work in a different way. And I made a little solution to implement something somewhat similar in C. So check out this program here. First we create two materials in an array. This is just a demonstration. So the first one is Lambertian. It just has one property, which is the color. And the second material we make is a metal, which has the color and the roughness. And these are two different types. We have the Lambertian type right there, and we have the metal type right there. And then we have this function here, print all materials. And it just loops through an array of materials of a given length, and it calls this print function on it. When we run this C program, you can see that the output is different. We first get I am a Lambertian and then I am a metal, even though we've just done dot print on both of them, which is not a standard feature of C. So let me show you how I did it. Here in this header we have all of our types, and in this header we have the functions. And I know it's kind of bad practice to define functions in headers, but who cares. So, just vector 3, whatever. We have Lambertian, which, like I said, just has albedo, which is its color. And we have metal, which has albedo and roughness. Now, here we have a union type called material object, which has both materials. And then we have the actual material type, which has a material object and void print, which is a pointer to a function which takes a material object as input. Now let's look at the functions. When we call make Lambertian to create a Lambertian, first we create the material, then we do l.print equals print Lambertian, which is a reference to this function, and l.object.lambertian. So again, we're using this union type, and we're setting the Lambertian version of it to be just a new Lambertian made using that albedo. And what happens now is when you call the print function, it's using this pointer right here, which will be a pointer to whichever function you set up here. And since we have print Lambertian and we have print metal as separate functions, we can just have them know, oh, we should interpret this union as a Lambertian if it's print Lambertian, or we should interpret this union as a metal if it is a metal. And so in this way, we can just set up this function pointer, and we don't need to worry about what type of material it is when we want to print it, and we can just call this function directly. Then, all you have to do to add another material, let's say we were going to add glass, and so we wanted to do vector3 albedo double roughness double IOR, all you have to do is now just add glass glass into this union type and define all of the proper functions that we want here and it'll just work and then same if we want to add another function that all the materials have you would just for example scatter which scatters array right this isn't implemented but if you wanted to do that you would just add that there and then make sure that in the creation function you point it to the correct function pointer. And what that allows you to do is have a generic type, or not truly a generic type, but a fake generic type, so that you can work with a whole bunch of different objects of different types without having to loop through them separately or stupid things like that. Anyway, that's just a little thing I came up with, so thanks for watching, subscribe or whatever. And remember that producing perfection from imperfection is, after all, the highest art form.